So today we're installing the Articat clutch kit. This kit is actually the same kit for the Yamahas. So today we have a Yamaha in the shop and this is the one that we'll be installing it on. First thing you'll need to do is obviously pop off the plastic cover here. The next thing we we'll want to do is remove the belt. So go ahead and grab your factory belt tool. Next, we'll want to go ahead and actually remove the secondary clutch using the 13 millimeter socket. So next, we'll go ahead and remove the primary clutch cover in order to get to the weights. No. So I'll just come out, right? <laughs> So now that we got the clutch cover off, we have access to the pins. Go ahead and remove these pins using a 3 8 socket. Don't know if we need to reuse that. The washer? Yeah. So when you remove the factory weights, you'll notice these two metal pieces. You will not need to reuse these. You can just set these aside. So we're going to load our weights 3200 zero, zero for our setup and where, we're, where we'll be riding. Go ahead and set your magnets to wherever you need to. and then torque to factory specs. And then repeat those same steps two more times. Now go ahead and install the Ibex primary spring. So when putting your primary clutch cover back on, 
when you're tightening these bolts, just make sure you go nice and slow and do just a few at a time, not to over torque one side to get that flex on the shaft. I think I'll get away from you. So once you have the helix removed, you can go ahead and remove the stock secondary spring. Install with the IBEX spring. And then install the helix as well. And so once you have the new helix installed, go ahead and replace the bolts here with the T27 Torx and tighten the factory specs. Now we're ready to install the secondary clutch back on the machine. Torque to factory spec. Oh. Got it right on the money with the gun.
And once you've done that, just go ahead and pre-install the plastic.